After an extensive investigation, Idaho's Attorney General says a local aquarium's use of charitable funds was questionable. Allegations the uh, Idaho Aquarium mismanaged funds sparked this investigation. So now the aquarium has a new name, also new management. Eric Gonzalez has more on the turnaround. It's our top story. The Aquarium of Boise is a new nonprofit that took over from the troubled Idaho Aquarium. They took over all the animals that are inside. They also took over all their debt, their fines, and their punishments. Rays, reptiles. The Attorney General's office says that they have found questionable use of charitable funds from the old Idaho Aquarium. The Attorney General Lawrence Wasden says that the Idaho Aquarium was using donations to overpay two of its board members and paying excessive travel expenses to some of its staff. They also report that their bookkeeping was pretty much non-existent. Charitable funds are being used to purchase personal vehicles that are then taken with folks when they move out of the state. Two members of the board, Christopher Conk and Amon Corvino, were convicted by a federal court for illegally transporting animals and sentenced to prison. There was illegal importation of sharks and... Uh, uh, in which crimes were committed. Now the new board hopes to turn things around, but they still have to take on the old board's punishments. We still have a fine that we have to pay to the federal government on the behalf of the bad guys. They had to pay a fine of $50,000 and the new aquarium is on probation for three years. But the attorney general's office is working with the new board. You know, I would take my kids to the, to the aquarium. It, it's, uh, well, my kids are a little older, but I take my grandkids to the aquarium. Uh, because we think that the, that the board is functioning the way that it should. It's doing the things that it should do, and, and I would have confidence in it. The new board members say that there aren't any old board members that are working with them, and they're also saying that those animals that were seized are not here at this aquarium, even though they have their own sharks inside. Back to you.